Hi guys, um, I'm just going to show you how to make a DVD uh, movie into an AVI. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I've actually remote desktoped to another computer uh, that's got the actual programs on it. So first I'm going to open up DVD Decryptor. Okay, um, and now um, I've got a DVD in the drive already. Um, it's the only movie I could find in the house so what I'm going to do is um, it comes up automatically it finds the DVD for you but what I want to do is just make sure that under mode this is on file okay now that's one thing that you need to check to make sure the tick is there okay on file also um, the destination you need to take note of where it's actually going Okay, so at this stage it's going to F drive and then it's got the name of the movie um, and that's where it's going. So really all I have to do now is press this, um, it is, it says DVD to my hard drive. Okay, um, now I've already done that um, but that's how simple it is. Um, if you want to know where to get DVD decryptor from you can go to my uh, website www.tips4pc.com and um, there's a freeware section there and you should be able to find DV Decryptor. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of that and now I'm going to go and open up DivX, uh, D, not sorry, not DivX, DVDX. But um, you do need DivX as well, which is a codec and it's a free codec okay um, so so you get a DivX player with it a DivX converter and all sorts of things um, it's an actual video codec that you'll need okay because it's the best one now this is what I'm going to use now DivX but I'm going to use this program to do it with DVDX now that is on my website as well so click on it okay and now it's open and now what I want to do is get the video footage um, I just ripped the DVD so I want to open up that so what I'm going to do is go to file and say open IFO okay and I'm going to choose the first one here okay just look I don't know which one to choose but okay so here we go it says an hour and 40 48 minutes well that looks like the movie to me I'll just quickly go back if I cancel that if I go back and open up a different one just say number two okay just to show you the difference this one is one minute and 48 okay so it's definitely not that is it okay so we'll cancel that and we'll go back so this is how we tell okay you just got to make sure you got the right one okay number one right now okay if I look around here um, this is all these settings are good already okay I'm gonna leave them the less the better I don't even tick this audio video synchronization because it actually just does it okay it depends what you're converting it to of course Right, um, this one here, the output frame rate. Now, if you're in the US, you probably need to choose NTSC, but I'm in Australia, so I'm using PAL. Okay? Right, everything else uh, looks pretty good, and we're going to press OK. Okay? Right, now when you mouse over these things down the bottom, it comes up with what it is. See, open an IFO. It's a bit slow to do. Open an MPEG, etc. Now, input settings. We just did that. So now we're going over here to output settings. Okay. Now, here's where I choose my uh, video output. Now, what have I got here? I've got video CD, which makes it bigger. Now, I want to make it smaller. Okay. Which would be AVI. Okay. Now, I'm going to choose it. See if I press if I choose any of these, this is almost like DVD quality. This one is DVD quality, this one. Okay, this one's a bit less, but this one's even smaller, but it comes out good as well. So I'll choose that. 
Okay, now for the audio. Right, now I've got lame MP3 on here. Um, it's an, another encoder, it's an audio codec. So you can go and download that, it's for free. Um, it's not that easy to find or whatever, but I um, mean, yep, it is easy to find, but um, if you can't do that, use ACM, okay? That's fine as well. Just use ACM if you haven't got LAME. Definitely do not use WAVE because WAVE is huge. Okay, you have to use ACM or LAME, right? Now there's the default settings for it, that's fine. Okay, and also here's the video codec. Now, uh, Microsoft Video One is probably the um, default one, but DivX is fantastic. Now, as you can see, um, Cam, uh, Cam Studio Lossless Kodak would be the next choice for me. Um, but Xvid is good, but it makes it a whole lot smaller and um, you end up getting bad quality. Well, I do, because uh, it's compressed too much. Okay, but if you want smaller files, you use that. But uh, this one makes smaller files and keeps the quality. Okay. Um, we'll go down through there. We're going to keep all those settings. We're going to go over here and it says I've chose this. Okay, I didn't touch that. I've just chosen this. It says letterbox, um, this, that. I've just chose full, full screen. Okay, so because I want to watch it on TV. Right. Um, now here you need to press this button here. This is the problem sometimes. People maximum frame rate, okay? Press it. It'll change that number to whatever frames it's got to go through. Now, what the thing is, if you haven't pressed it, it only starts with like, um, you know, a hundred thousand, but your movie's got the hundred and sixty thousand, so you need to press that button, okay? Right, now here, custom size. Now, I'm going to press custom size and then I'm going to press settings. Now it says 699 megabytes, but I think this movie's going to go more than that. So I'm going to say 1000. Okay? I think it's going to be around 800, but I don't want it to get chopped into smaller pieces, okay? I want just a full piece of 800 megabyte movie. Okay? All the rest is fine. Okay, so I'm going to press apply. And this folder here is the select the destination. Okay, that's fine as well. I've already, um, if you want to choose another place, press on browse, choose a place, and choose a file name, and then press save, and it'll save it there. And the next thing is, press OK, and the next thing is just to press record. Now that is exactly. Um, you'll get it, you'll be right, you'll get um, a full movie, it'll be in sync, it'll be good quality, um, and then you can put more than one movie on a disc, okay? So if I press that, it'll say there's already, a f uh, it already exists, and I'll go yes, and then it'll start encoding. Now, it depends on the speed of your computer, okay? Now, it doesn't really take long on my computer, um, in fact, it takes like really quickly actually because I remember in the old days when I used to do this and um, it took forever. Alright, thanks for watching.